Hi, in this video, I'm going to go over the updated version of my new Canoe Frontier 12. I'll go into the changes in detail, and for the features that have remained the same, I'll refer you to some of the videos I've made in the past. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start from the rear of the kayak and move forward. This is my modified Haswing Pro 2R 1.0 12-volt 65-pound thrust trolling motor. I've shortened the shaft and added the steering control bar for my foot pedal steering as well as run the wiring from inside the shaft towards the midsection next to my seat where I'm using the original head unit from the trolling motor. And the reason I'm using that is because it has its built-in PWM with four small electronic wires that feed back into the trolling motor. Now this is not your normal trolling motor setup, so I couldn't use this the same way as in my other videos with PWMs. But this is mounted on a PVC shaft that I fabricated myself, and it sits on a ram mount which allows it to move in almost any configuration to make it easy to use. I'm going to show you a breakdown on how I made this PVC riser for this head unit. And then we also have the 12 volt kill switch junction box which I've also made a video of along with my Lorentz fish finder And here is the bracket I used to make my foot pedal steering, which I've also done a video about. And we go up here, and there's my 105 amp hour battery that I have strapped down to the railing. And I have the leads powered to a four pin connector, which is used to power both the circuit breaker for the motor as well as the electronics that I keep on the upper part of the front lid. I have my fuse box along with my circuit breaker which runs to my power junction box. And so that's the breakdown of my updated New Canoe Frontier 12. This is an exploded view of the trolling motor head attachment mount. This is three quarter inch PVC pipe. This is a three quarter inch to one half inch step down PVC T-section. And here you have a chair leg cap that you can get at one of the big box stores. Another piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe. And this is a ram 1.5 inch ball female slip pipe fitting that will slide right over this piece of PVC. But as you can see, it's very loose. So what you need to do is flare out this end to make it wider so you have a more snug fit for this fitting. And the same goes for the piece up here that's going to go into the base of the trolling motor head. That is also a little bit larger than the standard outer diameter of the three quarter inch PVC pipe. So you need to flare out that top end too, and then you drill your hole for the bolt that attaches it to the head unit. And then you drill a hole in the end of this so you can run your wires up through the T-section and into the head of the trolling motor. And then this just slips right on there. But do make sure to run your wiring through this first so you can attach it. So that's the updated version of my new Canoe Frontier 12. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.